How are you? Strange times, eh? Very strange. Yeah, the strangest. But I'm glad to see you. Yeah, I'm really glad to see you too. How are you? You know, same as everyone else, just weirded out and trying to kind of get on with it. When did it hit you? Well, I kind of went away anyway, just before it all started like kicking off. And then, then when the tour got cancelled, I was kind of like, okay, well, I suppose, you know, make music again. That was not remotely the plan, but. And I'm very lucky to be able to do that. That's one thing that I'm very hype, very aware of. That like you know, a lot of people just can't, just don't have, aren't fortunate enough, privileged enough to be in that position. So yeah, we're making stuff. I mean, I don't know if we're making like a new 1975 record, but to be honest with you, like I wouldn't be surprised. Not like an album, but like I don't know. The, the, me and George are here, and we ha- we had a bunch of things that we were going to be working on kind of later on in the year anyway that we just kind of bumped up to now. So. That's that's what good. We're about to play um, the Daily Mail. You know, you've got a couple of Tom York crushes in here on this playlist. You got a couple that'll put me, have me in pieces within the first two bars. I, I made this playlist the other night, and then we've been watching Ozark on Netflix, and that song's actually on Ozark. Where are you up to right now? Oh, I done it. I smashed it out. I think I've all, I've like finished YouTube. I think I've I've finished it. <laughs> it's a nightmare. I've got nothing left in my life. So Matthew, I have to ask you is, I mean, I, I'm assuming that notes on a conditional form is now done because every time I've asked you that question and probably a dozen times in the last 18 months, it's been, it's been getting incrementally closer, but we've never had a, it's a complete conversation. Is it, is it complete? Yeah, it's been done. It, it's been, it's sent off about a month ago now, like if not over. So like that's been, that's been done and it was done way before this kind of situation really kicked off. So listening to it in the context of this has been quite Oh, weird because it feels like a different it's not changed shape it just feels like it's kind of solidified even more like it kind of makes even more sense which which is weird but so it's 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 i'm i'm i think it's my best record but that's my job to think that you know what does releasing music feel like to you right now compared to how it would have felt a couple of months ago releasing a record is fine because that's like a long form expression that i know people genuinely emotionally invest in and i think that people do need those kind of things right now doing something that feels like inherently self-interested like promoting it like outside of like this for example like i know you and we're known to know each other and even it's slightly different doing something like this but you know like just like promoting yourself at this time feels i'm just very hyper aware of self-interest it just is very glaring to me when i see it so i'm trying not to be um, to, to, I'm trying to pay tribute to the situation at all times. To be honest with you, I just think that now is a real time for us to kind of like extend as much kind of like compassion and sympathy in like every direction. Do you know what I mean? Because people aren't kind of, it's not top trumps at the moment. Do you know what I mean? And you can't like, you know, I can't empathize with somebody um, who's had all like, I mean, who can't afford to eat like whether that's through privilege or luck or whatever like i i can't um truly sympathize with that side because you know it's it's not part of my experience i can empathize with for example people who have been working incredibly hard towards like one thing and to have that taken away and to, to have to deal with the emotional and the financial implications of what that requires and stuff like that. And, you know, so it's kind of like, I think that everybody um, just needs to be kind of how I've seen people, which is kind of like, you know, like just quite caring. So you, um, you and Georgia, you and Georgia kind of um, tucked away and quarantined together, which is, which is convenient. That's great that you found yourselves in the same place because not a lot of creatives have actually been able to do that. There's a lot of bands displaced all over the place trying to do it by Zoom or whatever. Um, so you guys are in a, you know, you're in a, in a like you said, at the very beginning and in, in a very self-aware way, you're already kind of in a privileged spot. You've got your buddy around, you've got your creative partner around. Um, what Can I ask what, what has been coming out like what have you been making what's been the mood and the feel of it like i've been like kind of organizing what songs of the old ones that kind of exist on the internet that i'm gonna put out as like an official like the first album that kind of never came out but i'm gonna follow it with like there was so much drive like like later 
in between drive like I do kind of early 1975 stuff that just fell at the wayside and I kind of and no one's heard any of that you know we've we've been through some deep emotional music and we've been through stuff that you know I've never heard before we're on a real journey of discovery with Matthew Healy right now and it's been it's just lovely to see you man um you know safe and well you and George and you know you're staying close to friends and family and and are you using this time to sort of to 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 to, to continue to sort of solidify those connections that can often go you know go by the wayside as we as we as we strive through life totally i mean i like i'm also like really really into like technology it's like something that really excites me and i think that people are kind of being like forced by this situation in order to kind of like extend their communication with people through different types of technology that normally aren't used because the only technology we really like is ones that we can like integrate immediately into our life and if we have to like slow down we get a bit like bored of it so we don't really try it out but now people are like trying technology in a more kind of long form way so i think that we're going to have this massive like desire for a different experience of technology which i think is quite exciting but it might be um that might be the silver lining to an actual apocalypse so i was going to ask you if you've if you've sort of applied yourself to any new learning i'm cooking a lot i am, I am cooking a lot i do well, like tells me you were always quite tidy in the kitchen yeah i'm pretty good like I, I, it's kind of my I, I really like it. Like so, I, to be honest with you, George is probably better, um, but he's got like OCD, so you're not going to beat someone like that. You know, go give George a big hope for us, man. And thanks for taking the time to, to share this with us. Thanks, man.